Have you ever felt the subtle unease of doubt creeping in during conversations or sensed that certain people around you might be hiding their true intentions? What if, beneath the smiles and kind words, there was deception waiting to reveal itself? In Zen philosophy, true wisdom often stems from seeing through illusions and connecting with authenticity in ourselves and others. However, distinguishing genuine connection from manipulation can be challenging, a wise saying from Buddhist philosophy speaks to this, the mirror does not lie, it only reflects what is. Yet, not all reflections show the truth at first glance. Sometimes, we have to observe patiently, looking past the surface to see the true nature of those around us. This story is about one individual's journey into recognizing the signs of insincerity, learning to protect their peace, and finding freedom through clarity. Once, a traveler decided to embark on a journey of self-discovery, seeking to understand the mysteries of human nature. Along their path, they encountered a wise monk who lived in serene solitude by a riverbank. Captivated by the monk's peaceful demeanor, the traveler decided to stay and learn what they could. One evening, as the sun was setting, the traveler asked the monk, how can one know if people are truly sincere, or if they only wear masks of kindness? The monk smiled and responded, to see truth in others, you must sharpen your awareness. There are signs, subtle but certain, that reveal the true intentions of those who are not genuine. And so, the monk began sharing the seven signs of insincerity, guiding the traveler through stories and teachings on each, one. Inconsistent behavior, the monk started by pointing out a subtle but powerful sign. Watch for inconsistency in their actions. When people are genuine, their actions align with their words. But those who are insincere often change their behavior depending on who is around, switching personas like costumes. They show warmth and kindness when they need something, yet the moment they achieve their goal, their warmth fades. The traveler recalled an acquaintance from their own life who seemed kind and attentive. But only when they needed something, a favor, advice, or company. This person's friendliness was like the sunshine, it appeared and disappeared without warning, casting shadows of doubt, the monk explained, this inconsistency creates confusion and pulls you in and out, making you doubt your own perceptions. Pay close attention to how others act not only toward you but toward everyone they encounter. True character remains stable, like the steady flow of the river. 2. Excessive flattery, the monk continued, another sign is excessive flattery. True friends or allies do not seek to inflate your ego, instead, they nurture your soul with honesty. Beware those who constantly praise you without reason. It is like honey covering a bitter pill, the sweetness distracts you from the poison beneath. The traveler remembered a merchant who was always full of compliments but, as they later discovered, only did so to make the traveler more willing to lend a hand or share resources. The compliments, it seemed, were simply a means to an end, when someone uses compliments like a fisherman uses bait, they may simply be trying to reel you in. Wisdom lies in recognizing when words are meant to uplift versus when they're designed to manipulate, the monk advised. True appreciation is honest, not exaggerated. 3. Lack of empathy, empathy is the language of genuine connection, the monk continued. Those who are fake with you often fail to show true empathy. When you are in pain or facing hardship, they might pretend to listen, but their eyes are distant, and their words feel hollow. They may even avoid your suffering altogether, seeking only the convenient side of companionship. 
The traveler was reminded of a friend who was always present during celebrations and good times but seemed to vanish whenever challenges or sorrow arose. It was as if this friend only valued them during moments of joy, unwilling to share the weight of life's darker times, observe how people respond to both your happiness and your sadness, said the monk. True friends walk with you in both light and shadow. While those who are fake avoid what does not serve their comfort. 4. Absence of accountability, the monk's expression turned serious as he spoke about accountability. Genuine people take responsibility for their actions. Those who are fake often avoid accountability. When things go wrong, they quickly deflect blame or create excuses. They are like leaves that blow whichever way the wind takes them, unable to ground themselves in honesty. The traveler could think of someone who frequently caused issues but always managed to shift the blame onto others, refusing to admit fault. This pattern left a trail of resentment and mistrust among those around them, a person's willingness to be accountable shows their inner strength, the monk explained. Those who are unwilling to own their mistakes are like broken bridges. They cannot support you or themselves in times of need. 5. Frequent gossip, as the lesson continued, the monk brought up the subject of gossip. Beware of those who constantly speak ill of others. Those who spread negativity about others are often masking their own insecurities. If someone talks negatively about others to you, it is likely they will speak the same way about you to someone else. The traveler nodded in agreement, recalling a companion who delighted in gossip, seemingly unable to resist sharing secrets and scandals. This person's conversations were filled with tales of others' missteps, yet they claimed loyalty to all, the tendency to gossip reveals a lack of integrity. The monk pointed out. People who cannot respect others' privacy will not respect yours. Choose your company wisely, for those who carry loose tongues carry unreliable hearts. 6. Absence of genuine support, true connection involves mutual support, the monk continued. When people are fake with you, they will often withdraw their support when you need it most. They may say comforting words but vanish when action is required. They are like shadows, disappearing when the light changes. The traveler thought of someone who frequently offered vague encouragement yet was always too busy when help was actually needed. It was an empty friendship, one that left them feeling unsupported and alone during difficult times. The monk explained, Real support does not waver with circumstance. If someone only offers you promises but no actions, they are not truly invested in your well-being. True friendships are balanced exchanges of effort, trust, and care. 7. Self-centered conversations, finally, the monk spoke of self-centeredness as a sign of insincerity. Observe the balance in your conversations. Those who are genuine will listen as much as they speak. But when someone constantly dominates discussions, only sharing their interests, their joys, or their needs, it reveals their self-centered nature. The traveler reflected on conversations with certain acquaintances who rarely asked about others. Filling every interaction with stories of their own lives, ambitions, and problems. These people seldom listened or showed interest beyond their own desires, when someone's world revolves only around themselves, they do not have space in their heart for true connection with you, the monk said. True friends listen deeply, creating an exchange that flows like a river in both directions. Embracing wisdom, with these seven signs illuminated, the traveler felt a profound sense of clarity. They now understood the importance of discernment, a skill as essential as compassion on the path of Zen. 
Thank you, wise monk, the traveler said, bowing deeply. Your insights have taught me not only how to see others but also how to better understand myself. The monk nodded, smiling gently. Remember, the journey to wisdom is lifelong. The more you see yourself honestly, the more you will see others with clarity. By practicing mindfulness, compassion, and observation, you protect your heart and nurture relationships of authenticity. There is no need for anger or resentment toward those who are insincere, they are simply unaware of their own truth. With this awareness, walk forward with a calm mind, choosing connections that nourish the spirit. As the traveler departed, they felt a new sense of freedom, no longer weighed down by the burden of doubt. They knew that by observing these signs and embracing the wisdom of Zen, they could cultivate relationships of integrity and let go of illusions. The world seemed brighter, filled with authentic possibilities, as they continued on their journey of growth and self-discovery. This narrative beautifully illustrates the wisdom of discernment in relationships, a teaching that both Zen and Buddhist philosophy deeply value. Recognizing signs of insincerity is not just about guarding oneself from harm but about nurturing authentic connections that resonate with one's true self. The monk's guidance reveals the subtle yet profound markers of a genuine friend versus a masked acquaintance, allowing the traveler, and us, to see beyond surface interactions and build connections that nourish the spirit. The journey teaches that authenticity in relationships starts with our own self-awareness and honesty. By paying attention to behaviors like inconsistency, excessive flattery, lack of empathy, and gossip, we can identify intentions that may not align with our peace and well-being. This clarity, rather than leading to anger or resentment, brings a calm acceptance and empowers us to surround ourselves with true allies. In the end, Zen and Buddhist philosophies remind us that discerning genuine connection doesn't isolate us but liberates us, helping us walk through life with a lighter, more joyful heart. This wisdom lets us appreciate others as they are while choosing connections that elevate and support our inner journey toward compassion and clarity. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.